Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about route model binding in Laravel. Or for those of you who haven't heard these three words, it's about this. So how to bind the parameters so they would by magic appear in the controller as a variable. And in this video we will have four parts. First I want to show you and explain to you what route model binding is and how it works in resource controllers like this. Second, how can we use that outside of resource controllers, so in any controller. Third thing, what are the potential errors or mistakes we can make and where we should be careful about the binding. And fourth thing, new thing in upcoming Laravel 7, which is next week to be released, uh, how we can bind even more convenient. So let's go. Part number one, what that is and how does that work? So if we go to our page, the example project that I have, it's based on quick admin panel, it's a simple CRUD. So if we go to edit, of some CRUD object, in this case it's a project CRUD, so C1 and edit. Or if we go to view, it calls show method, which is projects1 without edit. And that is a typical resource controller in Laravel, it's generated by PHP Artisan make controller minus minus resource. And this is exactly the methods that are inside of it, so edit and show, that was the two methods. But as you can see, those methods don't contain any project ID. So the URL projects1 or projects1edit, how does the Laravel define or decides that uh, it's project ID? So that is route model binding. Uh, instead of project project, we could potentially do something like this. So we pass project ID and then we do project equals project model find or fail. ID. And that is exactly what is done by Laravel under the hood. So it finds the project for us without us actually launching that line. And it assumes that it's ID column that it needs to look for. So we cannot pass any like name or slug or anything like that. It should be ID. Later in the video I will show you how to customize that as well. But by default it's ID. So route model binding by definition or by default, it's the function like Laravel magic, I call that, which allows us to do this and avoid finding the full object by ID inside of our method. And that is, as I said, by default in resourceful controllers. So that was part one of our video. Now let's see how can we use that outside of the methods of the resourceful controller. And by default, resourceful controllers have seven methods, which is index, create, store, show, edit, update, and destroy. And let's create some other method, which is outside of that seven rule. And I've done exactly that. And I called it move. So move project to something, hypothetical method. And I also pass the project. And now in routes web, in addition to our route resource, we need to add that get as the eighth URL, eighth possible. And I've done exactly that. So we can pass the project as a parameter instead of again doing ID here, we can pass the project and assume that the project would be the same name as this variable inside of it. Not the class name, it's the variable. So uh, same here. So if we go to move now, URL would be projects ID move. We launch that and see what I did here. I just echo project name and the full project object. And it has some attributes, it's a fake seeded data, so nothing important here. But anyway, there is a project name and it's seen also projects ID 1, but we don't have ID here. But look what happens if I change something here. So if I do projects, for example, different name, or actually projects doesn't make sense. Uh, so my project, for example, my project, and I wanted to show it here. So look, my project and see no project name and attributes are empty. So it is returning some uh, object by project, but it's empty. So it doesn't find that. Uh, and if I change that to my project here, see magic, it matches the name here and name inside of the variable and then it starts working. But now, what if we don't find the object by ID? What if we do projects to move? Then it throws 404. So there are two possible errors what we can do, possible mistakes. We may miss uh, the name here 
uh, name here, it should be match. So in that case, it would return empty object, but by the same type, empty model. Uh, but if it doesn't find the model by ID, then it returns 404 as it does find or fail method. And final thing in this video, what I wanted to show you how to customize that ID, as I promised I will show you. Uh, so instead of ID, it could be slug, it could be some name. So how do we change that? We go to model and we specify public function get route key name and we return anything. We return name, for example. So let's change that to name and then we, if we go projects ID 1, it will throw 404 because it doesn't find any project by that name. But in the database, let's say the name is Nicholas. Now let's copy and paste that. Projects Nicholas. See, now it returns the full object. So if you want to specify, with a, instead of ID, you could use slug or anything, this is how you can do that. Get route key name. And there's a new thing in Laravel 7 which will allow even more customization. So this can be customized only per model. So everywhere you bind that uh, in any controller, that would be the binding rule of a model. But what if you want to customize that for certain requests or certain like two different bindings for the same model? And Laravel 7 will introduce this thing. So this is Laravel 6 by default. This is article on Laravel News. I will put the link in the description. And this will be a new thing in Laravel 7. So you could customize the field, the binding column from the database immediately in your route. Uh, and that would allow you to customize two routes with the same binding. One binding would be by slug and another binding would be by ID. So that is upcoming in Laravel 7. I hope it was helpful. Uh, that was a review of route model binding and I hope you're understanding better how that magic works. If you have any more ideas for the videos, comments are below. Subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.